on off button in LED direction. Press ground button to switch to ground setting mode. The LED which is on indicates that any of the menus among the ones on LED system side is active. Raise search coil 40 centimeters and press reset button. Check if the effect on the ground is in minus or plus direction, approaching the search coil 3 to 5 centimeters to the ground. If effect is in minus direction as on the screen, raise the search coil again 40 centimeters and press minus button for a certain time. If effect is in plus direction, then press plus button. After pressing reset button, lower the search coil again to 3 to 5 centimeters. Until effect is reset, continue this process. After effect is reset, again raise the search coil to 40 centimeters and press reset button. Then make sure effect disappears, lowering the search coil again to 3 to 5 centimeters. After the search coil is raised to a search distance of 8 to 15 centimeters, press ground button and switch to search mode. Performing search in LED mode. During search, search coil should be held at a distance of 8 to 15 centimeters upwards from the ground and in parallel with the ground. Search is made by moving the search coil right and left, but not too quickly. When user receives a signal, he crosses over the same signal again after pressing reset button outside the target. As seen on the screen, user determines the diameter and center point of the target by detecting the borders of the effect of the signal he receives, which reflects on the surface in four directions. User crosses over the center point of this target diameter, of which has been determined by him, in such a manner as to end the signal by pressing scan button. If the lights in metal direction are on, but non-ferrous light in the middle is off, it is seen that target is a ferrous metal. Reset button should be pressed after each search, so as to detect the signals healthily. User determines the diameter and center point of the target by detecting the borders of the effect of the signal he receives, which reflects on the surface in four directions. User crosses over the center point of this target diameter, of which has been determined by him, in such a manner as to end the signal by pressing scan button. If non-ferrous light is on together with the lights in metal direction, it is seen that target is a valuable metal. If non-ferrous light is not on synchronously with metal lights, the target might be steel. User determines diameter and center point of the signal he receives. User crosses over the center point of this target diameter, of which has been determined by him, in such a manner as to end the signal by pressing scan button. If the lights in metal direction are on, but non-ferrous light in the middle is off, it is seen that target is a ferrous metal. If cavity lights on the left side of the joystick are on, it is seen that the target is a cavity. User determines diameter and center point of the signal he receives. User crosses over the center point of this target diameter, of which has been determined by him, in such a manner as to end the signal by pressing scan button. It is approved that target is cavity.